Between Michael Kidd, Gilgris, and Austin Rivers, who would who do you would go higher in the draft? Okay, that's cool. Um, I don't think there's anybody with any sense about them that would take Austin Rivers over Michael Kidd, Gilchrist. I just don't think so. The thing with Rivers for me is I'm going to be very curious what he measures because I've never like stood next to Austin Rivers, but I have been around him. And I didn't get the feeling about this 6'4 that I've heard people talk about. I don't even know if that's what he's listed, but that I didn't see. I don't know what kind of two guard he's going to be in the NBA. And he's not a point guard. That being said, yo, start listing the best two guards in the NBA. Number one is probably Eric Gordon. And yo, Eric Gordon's cool, but what are we really talking about here? Like, when I was a kid, Eric Gordon wasn't going to be the best player in his position in the NBA. Now, granted, Michael Jordan was the best two guard in the league at the time, but I think you still get my point. You start going through two guards, there just aren't that many. Now, Rivers is not a very good defender, and he's going to have to learn to get along with others, you know? He doesn't seem to be a bad guy, a bit whiny, you know, but he might grow out of that, who's to say? But Gilchrist, are you kidding me? Do you see everything that he... Dude, he's playing small forward. He has games in college where he's snatching 15, 16, 17 rebounds, right? I mean, I don't want to compare him to Scottie Pippen because I think Scottie Pippen was a really unique player. But that's kind of the sort of game that I see. Or maybe we're looking at a Sean Marion type of player that can slide and play three and four. You know, can guard threes and fours and maybe go down and guard twos. Austin Rivers is just not that caliber of a talent. It is, it's, it's not close. It's not a discussion. 